Hi, my name is Tim Dorcas, and I write the craftedbytim.com uh, blog. I wanted to take a few minutes and do a quick review of this product called the Magdrill. Uh, it's an easy to use tool that will help you to do all kinds of, of uh, alignments. Um, more specifically, I've been using it to align my table saw uh, to the blade. And there's lots of I've seen lots of different ways to do it. Um, this is the fastest and probably the easiest thing that I've used. Uh, less than 10 bucks, and you're going to see why I, why I love it. So, first a couple things of note. Um, there's actually two versions of this. Um, the one that we're reviewing actually fits into the, into the miter slot. And you can see the nice thing about this is there's no movement side to side. It goes in tight and yet it still has a nice uh, flow. And essentially to set it up, just take it out. We're going to slide it down. And then all we have to do is tighten it up. So there's no play, and then it just fits. Okay, so now that we have a caliper that's locked in place, all I have to do is slide it over till it touches, then lock it down. And you can see how it travels against um, the blade. Okay, so in a few minutes you can actually see how easy it was to see the alignment of the actual blade to the table. And in my particular case, just before filming this, um, I actually made the alignment. There was a, almost an 8 thou gap between this guy and the caliper and the actual blade as I slid it down. Uh, I was able to determine that with feeler gauges and with my table saw, which is a Grizzly. Um, it's easy to unscrew the table and not get into alignment and, and get things to be very, very precise, which is what you actually want. So for the cost of the Magdro, which was under 10 bucks, and I actually already owned a caliper, I actually own a few. Um, I was able to very, very easily uh, set up my alignment and make sure that everything was, um, was accurate. I've seen methods. Well, you'll have this guy. And you'll have it sitting, this edge, sitting in the miter slot. And this, if my hand represents the actual blade, you'll have it, you'll mark a tooth. You'll, you'll set the ruler against the tooth, slide it down, and then turn the table saw blade, and then make sure that it uh, touches in both places. And that's another way. I have to be honest, while that way does work, and I have used it in the past, it's not a method that I really like. You've got to try to make sure that this is staying up against the miter slot, you're trying to turn things, it's, um, it's kind of a pain. If you don't have anything else and you don't even want to spend the 10 bucks, then this is obviously a method that you can use. Uh, I was never that crazy about it. Um, and I've also tried to set up various jigs um, to get this working. So this is actually set up against, again, the, the blade and you kind of measure and, and see how much you're out. Um, this again, if you can get the jigs set up correctly, this will work. But again, not that crazy about this. So far, the mag draw has been my uh, favorite method, the easiest method, the quickest, and actually, in the whole scheme of things, probably the cheapest cheapest way to to get things into alignment. And so I, I highly recommend it. Hope this helps. Um, if you try it out and it works, or maybe it doesn't work for you, please let me know. Go to craftedbytim.com. Uh, make a comment and let me know what you think.